Hello everyone, it's me once again. So this is a quite an interesting article as well out of all the um, exciting September news about the release of smartphones, flagship phones and etc. So Galaxy S10 could be surpassed by the Google Pixel 4. Here are the three reasons why. Okay, so this article is like it goes on about the beginning stage. So I'm just going to highlight to you the main part. Okay, so it's about the face unlock feature. So other phones require you to lift the device all the way up, pose in a certain way, and this is when, when it says other phones, it means Samsung, Galaxy S10, and also Apple. But if you lift, so um, you have to wait for it to unlock and then swipe to get across the home screen. While as Pixel 4 does all of that um, in a much more uh, streamlined way. So the, this is very important, but I think this is the main thing I want to highlight to you, okay? So as you reach for Pixel 4, slowly, uh, proactively turns on the face unlock sensor. Okay, so I'll, let me just show you what is actually being officially released by Google. So we've got this front uh, bezel, should we say, or the frame. Um, it's more like a frame now, but face unlock IR camera. There's one here, there's two of them here. So they put a lot of details in here, gadgets but um, there are front face uh, unlock IR cameras. And also this is the Soli radar chip, which differs to the rest of the smartphones. Uh, this is a radar sensor that automatically detects your movement, uh, recognizes that you may want to unlock your phone. And if the face unlock sensors and the algorithms recognize you, the phone will open as you pick it up. This is really nice. And I'm sure if you actually had experience with your face unlock with your other phones that you already have, this, you can see that it's a huge improvement. Um, so, and also on top of that is the better, better yet face unlock works in almost any orientation. Um, I remember my wife said that um, when she tried to unlock her phone first thing in the morning while slightly um, tilted left or right lying on the bed, it doesn't work. But I think that's what it's trying to emphasize here that it's gonna be much more easier to be unlocked in different angles as well because all these gadgets that Pixel um, 4 is going to have and especially I want to give huge credit to the Soli radar chip anyway so um, that's one of the main thing but um, what this article is cl clearly saying is that um, they believe Express.co.uk, okay, whether this article believes that Pixel 3 outcasts Galaxy S10 already, and therefore, if Pixel 4 is going to be way more uh, well, it's going to be improved even on the light night vision. This was compared that the night vision of 3XL is like this, and there's more brightness and more details on night vision of uh, 4XL, then that already is beating Galaxy S10. That's what they're trying to emphasize. Um, but uh, Pixel 4 apparently is rumored to not have the ultra wide angle camera then but then again how useful is that going to be is my question but i'm sure pixel has already been competing against apple with one camera lens on the previous version of uh, pixel 3 or 3xl so i'm sure they could do their magic with editing their software and etc it's one of those things what we call magic of what google or pixel uh, is capable of and lastly um but uh, it's the smoother display, basically. So we're talking about this 90 hertz um, screen. You get an option for that, but obviously that's going to drain your battery quicker. Uh, you get an option to change it to 60 hertz of uh, brightness of a screen, but you'll have a smoother display uh, than Galaxy S10. So if we're talking about price and money in here and all the function, etc., again, I want to emphasize that don't get an iPhone. Um, maybe you should not get a Galaxy. Personally, I ha I'm a bit light on criticizing Galaxy series because I only owned one long time ago. Uh, they're pretty good with uh, long-lasting... Um, they're long-lasting phones, I would say, on my personal opinion. But then again, if we're talking about if you want the best and the best price and the best function and the best feel to the everything, it's this article is clearly highlighting that you should get a Google Pixel 4. Especially, just look at this whole details. It's just amazing. It's like you get the face IR camera, two of them, and then you got the front facing camera, and this is the biggest thing. So this solely radar chip, as I said many times on my previous videos, that you'll be able to hand gesture, change, like flick to the next page or go to the next 
uh, track of music and etc. This is the exciting thing about uh, Pixel 4. Um, but obviously when it comes to competing against Samsung Galaxy S10, Pixel 4 and Apple, it's again emphasized in this article that Google Pixel 4 is probably going to be the phone the best flagship phone of the year of 2019. So anyway, I hope um, this uh, article and this video help you to understand more about this upcoming Pixel 4. Obviously, it's not official final final confirmation. Maybe we'll get a better function. Who knows? But so far, Pixel 4 is looking very good. So very excited uh, about the upcoming release on the 15th of October. Hang in tight there and we're going to get a very exciting news. So. Um, I hope Google Pixel 4 will do very well this year so that the rest of the market uh, can realize it's not about the over hijacking the price, it's about the function and the value of the product. So well done Google, well done Pixel 4 and we look forward to see you soon. Thank you very much for watching this video, this is LJP. All the best, bye.